What is up guys? It's time for Dylan back at it again with another crypto video. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are awesome. If you're new here, subscribe, bell icon, get notified when I post new videos because it's all time sensitive. In today's video, we got a lot to talk about. First thing I want to make sure to talk about was the mint process for or 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 and Gosha. What happened last night? I see a lot of people are very upset with one minting service in particular. So I definitely want to make sure to talk about that. And then, of course, we got to talk about the overall NFT market. What's going on with the floor price for a lot of these projects? I noticed that they're dipping. Last week, we were making amazing all-time highs for floor price for a lot of these different projects. Now the price is dropping. I think I found the reason why it's dropping. And then, of course, last thing we have to talk about, of course, is Wolves of Rome, which is an awesome play-and-earn NFT-based game on the Cardano ecosystem. Now, I've been talking about this project since it first came out with its first season of NFT drops. And of course, we got the second season coming out tomorrow for those of you that whitelisted and the next day for the public. And then the last thing I'm going to do is show you guys some awesome gameplay footage from Wolves of Rome. If you guys manage to get in the Discord, you can actually become an alpha tester. You don't even need to hold the NFTs. So make sure you guys stay tuned until the end so you don't miss out. But the first thing we have to do as always of course take a look at the crypto market gotta show you guys the price of ada it's absolutely surging we're up like 28 percent over the last two days now i know you guys remember last week we were down to 30 cents so just in one week we have gone from 30 cents to 40 cents such an insane rip in the price if you guys managed to scoop up some ada at 30 cents smash that like button i love you guys happy for you guys let me know what your entry point was down below. But why is the price of everything surging, right? I'm sure you guys noticed Bitcoin's price back up over $20,000. Looks like it wants to make a push to the 21K range. And as you guys can see, global crypto market cap almost back up to a trillion dollars. We're up 3% on the day. Even Ethereum's looking good. Almost back up to $1,600. Gotta love to see it. But what's going on, guys? Yesterday, we had a massive liquidation in short positions against Bitcoin. Over $1.2 billion liquidated. That's why I'm always saying, screw leverage. Stop shorting Bitcoin. I mean, people get greedy. That's what happens. That's why when you play with leverage, sometimes you get wrecked. And that's exactly what happened. So, of course, I think literally this is the only reason why Bitcoin's price is, is ripping right now. 1.2 billion dollars in short positions liquidated what happens the price is going to rip so of course that's going to carry on over to the rest of the market because as bitcoin moves the market follows i really think it's that simple so moving on along to the first topic of today's video we got to talk about it or 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 and gosha what happened with the mint service yesterday well if you guys have been on twitter been looking i'm sure you guys have noticed everyone is extremely upset with nmaker.io and, you know, I could scroll through here and look at some of these, some of these tweets. Some people are just so upset because so many people were in the queue to get some of these NFTs. And what happened? NFTmaker.io or nmaker.io dropped the ball big time. We had people in the queue for hours to later find out that the NFT project sold out. How upset would you be? But it just goes to show that the projects that are working hard in the bear market making their processes better than the status quo are going to be the winners and we got to say a quick shout out to ada anvil or the anvil minting service which is run by cash cash who is the founder of benjamin's club and benjamin's group which i'm sure you guys have if you've been following the channel i've been making videos about them for quite some time seems this guy has cracked the code and has made the minting service work like a charm so that's what we need in the space we need people to keep developing keep innovating and hey, they're going to be the winners. But anyway, moving on along, we got to talk about some of these NFT projects. Why is the price of the floor dropping so hard? Ape Society down so much. Last week, it looked like it wanted to go up to 20K ADA for the floor price. Now we're sitting at 8,400. What happened? Well, like I've been saying in all my videos, the price of these NFTs sometimes, they want to remain dollar stable. So you guys saw that the price of ADA is ripping. What's going to happen? The floor price in ADA is going to drop. I mean, that's just how the cookie crumbles. But in particular, Ape Society, I really think that people just got overextended. There was too much hype in the market. And, you know, a floor price of 15,000 ADA was just not sustainable. And that's why we're seeing 
A lot of people take profits, which you can't complain about. I mean, people are in the NFT market to make money, make more ADA. So when people take profits, can't be mad, can't hate the player, hate the game. But overall, when prices drop, I get excited because that just means that the entry point for these NFT projects is lower. Like for example, Ape Society, I don't hold an Ape Society NFT. So I'm very excited because if this price goes low enough, I will definitely pick one up and hold on for dear lives. But of course, not financial advice. You guys do your own research, blah, blah, blah. And really quick, before we talk about Wolves of Rome, I did want to quickly talk about Clay Nation. Notice that the floor price is down under 4K ADA. But overall, I'm still very bullish on Clay Nation. You know, they got some great partnerships. Snoop Dogg, Champ Medici. It's one of the oldest NFT projects. And they got a lot coming out in the future. So overall, I'm just super excited about Clay Nation. I mean, come on, rocking the hat all the time. But drop it down below. What projects are you guys excited about? What projects are you guys thinking about scooping up as the floor prices drop? I'm curious. Let me know. I might make a video about it. But anyway, moving on along to the main topic of today's video, Wolves of Rome. We got to talk about it. This right here is the first season drop. And I believe they minted out for, I think, 160 or 180 ADA. So we're now above the mint price, which is great. And you know, this project, they have a lot going on. They have been working really hard developing their game and I'm very excited about it because as you guys will see when I show you some of the gameplay footage, this game is going to be amazing when it's finished. And I really think a lot of people are sleeping on this project. So coming on over to the website, we can see that the Empire NFT drops for the Liches and now the Liches hate the Wolves. They are the arch nemesis of the Wolves and I'm really excited for this drop. It's coming in just a day. One more day, guys, 24 hours. But I'm super excited because this is going to be the second season, the second drop of these NFTs. And as you can see, there's only 2,000 of them. So overall, it's a very scarce NFT. And, you know, if you guys have seen some of the videos that I've made in the past, I'll make sure to throw the links up right here. You will know that this particular project is partnered up. They've partnered up with some major players in the game, some of which we can't even talk about. Can't even talk about. You guys are just going to have to wait and see. But I did just want to make sure to put this on your guys' radar before we jump into it. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually show you some of the gameplay. So now, let's see, by opponent, he's going to play one card. What is that? Undead Bone Skeleton Unit. Dying. Put a random unit with dying effect in your hand. Interesting. And, well, that ends my opponent's turn. So now it's my turn. Let's see, I have one mana, so I don't think I can play this card. Oh, I can actually. And you know what? I'm going to choose to attack. See, I have five attack, four defense. My opponent has three attack, two defense. So technically, I should be able to kill him. Let's attack it. My opponent, his only choice is to block. He hits block. And that ends the round. So now it's back to me. Let's see, I have one mana. I think I'm just gonna pass onto my opponent. My opponent, I think, has no mana, so I have no option but to pass. Now, very interesting. As you can see, I just successfully hit five points on my opponent's health. Now, this bar over here, this is actually the health of my opponent. So you start off the round with 30 health points. And now he's down to 25. So now it's my opponent's turn. My opponent has no mana because I, he had to use all the mana to attempt to block my attack, which was unsuccessful. So I'm going to have to pass back to me and the round. Now, as you can see, as the rounds progress, you actually accumulate more mana every single round. So that's pretty awesome. So it's my opponent's turn. My opponent has four mana let's see let's see what card i can play i got a pretty good one here so it looks like my opponent played animal bones reanimated elephant excessive to play me sacrifice one so not looking good for me my opponent now has a card that's stronger than mine and you know i have four mana let's see what can i play here let's see arcani blast fast deal three to an ally unit deal four to an enemy unit interesting so if i play this it looks like i'm gonna kill myself but deal four to the enemy unit i think i'm gonna have to go ahead and 
No, I'm not going to do that. No, not that one. Huh, what should I do here? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off and I'm going to try and get my soldier legend on the field. So I'm going to pass. Now it's to my opponent. Darn, so it looks like my opponent is going to attack me. Not looking good. I have no option but to block. So let's block that. And that was going to be the end of the round, which doesn't look good for me. It looks like I just lost five health points. So now we're back to an even playing field. Okay, now it's back to me. I have four mana still. Um, I think I have to put something down, unfortunately. So let's get the werewolf down. Because at least he has a high defense. And he has the effect of regenerating. So I'll put him down, end my turn. Now it's back to my opponent who has no mana left. So he has no option but to pass. So new round, as you can see, we now are accumulating five mana. So that's pretty great. Now back to me. I think, I think what I'm gonna have to do is put a card down. What card should I put though? Well, maybe I will do a spell. I'll, I'll do I'll do Arcani Blast. Deal three to an ally. Deal four to an enemy. And I think this will have to. I think this is going to uh, have to sacrifice this guy in order to kill this guy cast it my opponent has no option but to just accept it and as you guys can see that card just used its special effect which was to bring undead bones on the field so not a good thing for me but that's okay what can we do again my opponent he really doesn't have an option here he has to pass and it's back to me should i attack no i think i'll hold off accumulate some more mana so as you can see, my opponent played Skeleton Tomb. While in play, give all ally bones units one plus one. Oh no. And it can summon a skeleton. Oh, I gotta get rid of that card. Back to me, I got six mana. I think I'm gonna play this card. An ally unit, you control attacks an enemy unit. I think I'm gonna go with Legion and I'm gonna have to get rid of these Daves cast it he has no option but to just accept as you can see we took out one of the dames but it's not looking good for us so now my opponent's turn and it looks like he's gonna go full-fledged attack mode which i have no option but to block not looking good for me what am i gonna do nothing there's nothing i can do i take a hit on my health points and Back to me, got five mana. We're gonna play the architect, which regenerates on play, deal two to everything. So I think this might be my saving grace. Oh no, it needs eight mana, no. <laughs> Looks like I'm gonna have to just pass. I don't have enough mana to do anything. It looks terrible. So now we both got some mana. We're both up to seven mana. And it's my turn. I now have seven. We're going to use this spell. Right here. Boom. What does it do? Fast obliterate an enemy permanent. So I'm going to get rid of this guy. Because he's way too strong. Let's cast that. Opponent has no option but to just accept. As you can see. Taken out of the game. And now my opponent plays Bone Barracks. Which destroyed me after two rounds. Summons one skeleton's army. Okay, back to me. I think I'm gonna play the architect. What does it do? On play, deal two to everything. Cool. Opponent has no option but to accept. As you can see, deal two to everything. Managed to take out one of those Daves. So happy about that. Even affected his life points. Now we're getting back in the game. So it's back to me. I have no mana left. No option but to pass. Opponent has to end the round. Now it's back to me. I now have nine mana. And this guy's looking pretty good to me. While I'm alive, give all ally units and me plus two plus two. Wow, this looks pretty OP. I'm gonna have to play this guy. Boom. Back to my enemy. Enemy has to pass. 
ends the round. Now you can see looking pretty even now. Okay, so look at that. My opponent, he plays Black Swordsman's Effect. On play, deal three to all enemy units. No! Not looking good. Got no option here. So as you can see, he just totally almost killed me right now. Taking down some of my points here. Not looking good. So I got 10. I think I'm going to play the same exact card that he played. Boom. As you can see, what did that do? That took out his soldier legend. Nice. So it's looking pretty good for me. My opponent has no mana. He has to pass. I'm going to end the round. So I think I'm going to go full-fledged attack mode here. My opponent, he's going to have to block. And uh, let's see, what can we do here? We got 10 mana. Boom. Gonna obliterate Skeleton Tomb. Cast. Opponent has no option but to just accept. And as you can see, we've won the match. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go, guys. Just showed you some sick footage of the gameplay. Of course, it's still a little clunky. I'm not too familiar with all the cards, so I'm not the best at playing this game. But it looks like a very cool game. I'm super excited to see what happens with this. As you guys saw, the game is already full functionality. Overall, looks very cool. Like I said, a lot of people are sleeping on this.